I realized that I've never really done an intro video before, especially for most of my new followers and others. Um, I see you and thank you for your time. So here goes. My name is Grace Suvairina Sova of Va. Uh, Suvairina Mselame. I am Taita. So all Taitas wonder why does my second name mean nameless? Well, you see, when my grandma was born, they didn't have a name to give her. So Sova means without, and Rina means name. So Suvairina. Then when she was baptized, she got the name Grace, and to date, the name has stuck with my cousin and myself. So my name is Grace Nameless Mselame. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I'm a mother of twin girls, um, Zawadi and Raha. I totally adore them, my gift and my joy. And um, I guess most of all, I'm just an ordinary Jill whose life is a testament of God's grace through and through. I'm not perfect in any way. I'm a sinner. I have bad days, moody days, days when I bump Cardi B, but my kids are nowhere in sight. Yeah, of course. And I also have days when I doubt, when I worry, when I envy and feel unworthy and ask God, why? The worst days happen to all of us. But being in a relationship with God has taught me that He always has me at the palm of His hand. Even when I don't feel His presence, He's there, especially when I can't feel His presence. His word reminds me that He will never leave me nor forsake me. So to those who ask or comment, how are you always happy? How do you handle all that life throws your way? My answer is simple, simple as it gets. But people never seem to believe me. So now let me try it in three different languages. Negai, eh? nimungu peke, and truly, truly, it is all by the grace of God. In my own human strength, I can't be, me, yeah, I can't. But once God is in the picture, his burden is light and yoke is easy and his joy becomes your strength. Amen. I've also been asked what I use for my skin. Um, Eve's Rocher. Ladies, they are the truth. I tend to have sensitive uh, combi skin. So I've always kept my skincare uh, routine to a bare minimum. I discovered Eve's Rocher last year and never looked back. The products are simply amazing and all natural and just work for me. Um, so make sure you check them out. I'll tag them below so you can go and give them a try and see how they work for you. You've also asked me this one. Didn't, didn't, drum roll. Am I single, married, attached, all of them? What I'll say is, um, that's one thing I usually prefer to keep um, very private, especially since my previous relationship, nine years later, is still a point of discussion. So for now, I'll keep that to myself. How do I maintain a flat tummy, I've been asked? Simple, because it's a lie, does not exist. Before my kids, that was the case, even after them with breastfeeding. Um, but I turned 30, or was it 29, and it just went south. So the tricks of the trade is um, how you dress your body. You can camouflage a lot. But what I'm learning, and I think you should in your early 20s, is just stay active, watch what you eat, take care of your body. It'll love you right back. Last question, how does a blended family work? This one I've been asked over and over and over again, and I understand that. Um, and I will say this, honesty, love, a lot of it, and God's grace. Your children should never have to lack because you couldn't sort out your life or your differences. So grow up. Life can humble you sometimes. And also allow for God to lead the process. Keep communication lines open always. Remember, there's no competition, but adults wanting the best for their kids. And the big surprise in all of it is how each and every one of you become better people for it, stronger and wiser, because if nothing, you will grow. Being in a blended family will most definitely push you to either become bitter or better. But choose the latter. If you find yourself in a similar position, embrace your reality because it is what it is. And pray for God to enable you and even use that circumstance to bring glory to his name. And for sure, he's a faithful God. He'll do just that. Um, and that's about it. If you have any other questions, you can, I guess, add them in the comment section below. We'll see if we'll address all of them or some more. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and God bless you.